Hey everybody, uh, this is Brad Garrett. Who? And uh, if you listen to Brunch, you know this is a big deal. If you don't, you should start because Brunch is joining the Washed Media family. Wow. That's what we need. Another podcast about breakfast foods. Oh, squeeze my nipples and call me Phyllis. I can't wait to watch. Again. No, actually, the podcast loves Mamma Mia, Paddington, and Raymond. So it sounds like, uh, sounds like you need medication. But anyway, join us, will you, on the Brunch Podcast. I won't be there, but maybe Paddington the Bear, or maybe Raymond. Well, hi, I'm Ray. I'm a nose on a stick. Uh, whatever you do, remember Raymond is a douchebag. Have a wonderful time on the Brunch Podcast. Oh, I think I sharted. Is that a, can we fix that in post? Brunch, hit it, boys. You just heard what we've been referring to as the full Garrett. That is the full, expensive, <laughs> worth every penny Garrett. Honestly, for sure worth every penny. Yeah. we. So that, that was an announcement that we're making and that uh, we're going to announce and expand on here. But we were very in our heads about how we were going to make any sort of announcement video, maybe even like a little audio thing, whatever. We had Friday... As the day that this is the day we're making whatever we're making. So we got to figure it out. We were texting back and forth. Not really coming up with anything. Nothing that we were too excited about. And then Friday, we got together. We came up with a bunch of ideas for a million other things. We had a very productive day. But still had no idea what to do for the video. And enter, pay Brad Garrett on Cameo to do it. It uh, it really was uh, a, a very brunch day. Like We were like, we got to get together. We got to figure out what we're doing for this announcement video because we're joining Washed, which, by the way, we're joining Washed. Congratulations. Um, congratulations to us. Um, we got together, had to do this announcement video. We've been rattling ideas off each other for days. Mm -hmm. And then we got together on Friday, hashed out a bunch of other stuff, which we'll get into. Um, and then we figured out that, like, we're not good at announcements. We don't know how to do this. So I mean, like if you gave us a team and a bunch of stuff, I I don't know. Like if you I, gave us Brad Garrett and a bunch of money, we'd right, come up with a great exactly. announcement. I don't know. Our charm, if we have any, is that we just kind of vibe and we goof around and everything. So the hey, we're looking into a camera announcing something for you. I mean, the last time we did that was when we announced that uh, Gloria was officially a Bruin song. <laughs> yep, and. I don't know. Yeah, that I was going to say that. That went gangbusters, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe we were just in our heads, but we had an idea for um, as part of a streaming thing that we still might do, which is we, we, pay, we do cameo guests. So we pay someone's cameo money for them to be a guest for as long as a typical cameo. So you got like a minute and a half of somebody, and then like that's like $500 later. Just, that's it. They're <laughs> They're just gone. Yeah, which uh, you know would fall in line with uh, with our financial spending. Yeah, I mean, yeah honestly, that, that was the st Ellen was here when we came up with the Brad Garrett idea, and she was like, "Not a absolutely not. That is, is a like a thirty second video people are going to see, and that they're they're still going to have to listen to the podcast to understand the explanation and everything." And you were very you were hard pushing, the, but we've already thought of it. Mm -hmm. It's already been suggested. We were filling out the thing. We were like, "Is this, this is? Do we pay this?" You were like, "We're already on his page, right?" <laughs> we and also like at that point, we'd already spent like we had a, a five hour time frame in which we needed to get something done. Yeah, we were like four hours and thirty minutes in, so we were like, "We we decided on Brad, Brad Garrett. Brad Garrett's happening." Garrett also is doing the cameo, and everyone can do whatever cameo for whatever reason they want. Uh, if you just want it as a little side hustle, whatever. Uh, Garrett was doing it for charity, so we felt. The good guys of we, podcasting. Right. We were like, well, now, sweethearts that we are, <laughs> how do we not do this? His turnaround time, unbelievable. Incredible. 90 minutes, maybe? 
it was later that night, but like like maybe like yeah, ninety minutes to two hours. Let me see if I can find the cameo request because we. I don't know if you've ever gotten a cameo before. Uh, you ha- you can say uh, what are your name? What's your name? What's this for? And any little directions you have for him. I think most people just say like, "Hey, wish my friend a happy birthday." Birthday. And then for like special requests, you just write like, "Thanks, big fan" or something like that. We were like, "All right, we finally got Garrett." <laughs> what? Did, we wrote out this big grand thing like, "Dear Mr. Garrett, <laughs> as a couple of kids from Boston <laughs> who used to spend their or I don't know, still spent, still do spend their time watching Raymond, and we're delighted to see you in that cool Super Bowl commercial." We are blah. We would be honored by, and then you have two hundred fifty characters, not two hundred fifty words, two hundred fifty characters to put like a, in your a request. Tweet, a tweet. So right. So we wrote this grand thing, copy and pasted, and we were like, up oh, over by seventy seven thousand uh, <laughs> characters. What do we do? Should we mention what what our alternative plan was? I think it's funny. What was the alternative plan? We. We emailed Brad Garrett's representatives, and we were like, oh, hey, yeah. we want to book Brad Garrett for this cameo, but we have like these very specific instructions, and we yeah. have essentially this script. Would it be possible we will pay you, we will we will buy the cameo, can you please deliver these instructions to him? Yeah. They got back to us very quickly, and they were like, "No, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> they Right. They Unbelievable how quick Brad Garrett and his people work. That. I sent the thing because we were like, oh, okay, so maybe we'll get this cameo. Um, we'll at least send this. I don't know. We'll probably find out tomorrow, and then hopefully we get something back from him. Oh, they emailed back. They no. They, they didn't even say, like, no, you can't do that. We, that. This isn't how the cameos work. They were like, no, Brad's busy <laughs> or something like that. They were like, no, Brad, uh, Brad's out of out of pocket or whatever. Um, no, he, he won't do this. So we were a little bit worried that he would even he wouldn't even answer the cameo thing. Nope. Ninety minutes later, he nailed it. I'm trying to find what. Uh, no, they do. I do not have a. I have confirmation stuff from cameo, but I don't have the. Here's what you wrote. Um, we wrote. Uh, we're a podcast joining something called Washed Media. If you could come in and say, hey. This is Brad Garrett. So if, if you listen to Brunch, you know this is a big deal. Then you mentioned we're going to the Wash Media family. And then we had like, th- this was the most fun part. We had like 30, I don't know, 38 characters left. So we just To wrote, describe the podcast, essentially. Right. 30 characters to describe Brunch. Good luck. We're like, what do we do? Do we do like, thanks, Brad? Do we do, how, how, do, we, how do we fill out the rest of this? So we went with... Love Mama Mia and Paddington roast us, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and like to his credit, took us up on the offer. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't believe he didn't make any mention of that we called him Dad. Because he hit everything else. I mean, yeah. th- again, there's only like three things we could The attention to in detail there. from Brad Garrett is tremendous. Yeah. Uh, oh, we also know we wrote Love uh Mama Mia, Paddington, and, and Raymond. Raymond. Yeah. Yeah. Which and again, if we had more characters we're probably specifying. We love the show, Raymond. We like Ray. Ray's great, but we more like how the show struck the balance of somehow making a, a depressed, a clearly depressed character, like uh, the villain. <laughs> right. This like kind of, and we'll get into it with uh, Tom and Jerry talk in, I guess, the other part of this episode. But I don't know. Some shows will just be like, hey. This person always takes a beating. Mm-hmm. Isn't that funny? And it's <laughs> even uh, that that typically I think doesn't fly these days because I think that uh, hum- humanity is working on compassion, which is a good thing. But the 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 Robert's place in the family is what makes that show. So that, I mean that's why we love Robert so much and why we I, love. I Brad just kind of want to book a, a cameo from Brad Garrett now, being like. Can you just spend like two full minutes explaining why Ray is the horniest person alive and Deborah won't have sex with him ever? That's true. I mean, Ray Ray is horny for writing one column. Yep. The, for the Cal Ripken column. The Cal Ripken eight, and it was swanging. Mm-hmm. Anytime he sees anybody, and he's uh, uh, he's always on the phone. At least in the early seasons, 
He's always on the phone with some real big shots. He'll be like, hey, oh, I'm trying so- Sorry, Barry Bonds, I'm just setting the table. So, uh, Mr. Bonds, if you'd hold, hey, kids, would you keep it down? And, like, he's always on the phone. Who's he? He's on the phone with, uh, I think it's like the second or third episode, he's on the phone with Don Lasorda. Really? Tommy or, yeah, Lasorda? Or Tommy Lasorda. Tom, Tom, uh, yeah, we were just talking about Don Henley. He's so litigious. Anyway, uh, so we're, we've go, we're going to Washed Media. <laughs> This is a good. This is a good uh, announcement episode because it is a. It's a little bit of a, a welcome to our world sort of situation. If you don't know what the podcast is, it's a lot of this. It's yeah. A lot of us trying to do something and falling off track immediately. Uh, this this episode ends with us paying Brad Garrett again <laughs> to finish the episode for us. Uh, going to watched media, Pete. I, I won't. Uh, I won't BS uh, the 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 audience. This uh, you you put this together. You, this was th- this was your contacts, your friends, got me to check out their world, circling back, all those guys. We've been working with them for a little bit right now, mm-hmm. and they're awesome. They're the best. I love them. Uh, yeah, you, you, the, our listeners who know us know that uh, we love to say no. Mm. We don't love to, to make money or do things that will grow the podcast. Correct. So... For us to, to do this and to partner with some people that I think that are actually going to help us and grow the podcast, I think that speaks to how, how much we actually like them. Yes, and how much we like the podcast. Yeah. Because I mean, this is this is a bit of an this has been a bit of an awakening. Mm-hmm. Um, we've obviously been doing the podcast for a long time and we've at points resisted opportunities to expand it to give you guys more to i mean, like our, our patreon is an example of that we were like we'll set up a patreon because that is the thing to do and we have supportive listeners so we'll set up a patreon and i don't know just give us like a a, a dollar and like i i don't have the log into the patreon i don't we I, I bet you could be listening to this podcast for maybe like a year now, a year and a half, and not even know that we have a Patreon because we it just we never mention it, we never pump it, we right? Kind of like kind of sits there, exists. It's not a thing on our mind. We're we're very grateful to people who have been in on the Patreon because we've got a good community. We've got people who want to want to support us, and for a while now, really, the, maybe the pandemic brought this on, but I don't know. Like things just go in waves. We've really liked doing the podcast, and I don't know. Maybe we're—it's just that we're at a certain age or something. But we're like, this is, this is something that we do. Like, this is part of our lives. You want to call it a side job? You want to call it whatever? I think side job might be a bit of a, a stretch because it's essentially all play. Mm-hmm. But there's business elements of it with the merch and stuff, and we we have there's certain upkeep that we have to do, and. I don't know. We've just kind of gotten to a point where it's like, okay, so maybe let's stop screwing around. Let's routinely give people more stuff. Let's let's actually. I don't want to say take this seriously because we've always taken it seriously. We deathly seriously at points, but I don't know. Just we we've we, taken, we we've have ta- this we've community. Taken the content side of it, it seriously, but not like the actual, not the actual business side, and not the actual like. Let's try to make this a thing, like grow it as much as possible. We've, I think that that's where we've really like lacked mm-hmm. is we've between the two of us. A lot of our conversations recently have revolved around comfort and that we want to be comfortable. And I think that like for a big part of that, like the stagnancy, maybe if you want to say that about the podcast, was that we were comfortable. Yeah. Like we were just kind of doing our own thing. We didn't want to break out of that mold. We were enjoying it, still enjoying it. But I do think that. Uh, Recently, we've kind of come into the mindset that if we can make something more here, then we should. And there's things that we like doing that we just don't. Someone brought up recently, they were like, hey, the podcast's been really good lately. And I was like, yeah. And they said um, something. They were like, it's cool that you had that you get into these things and maybe revisit them maybe don't like mad libs was the funniest thing in the world and you guys eventually were like ah 
and just stopped doing it. And I was like, ah, that that wasn't even like a screw Mad. Like, let's bring Mad Libs back. Let's bring all these fun things that we do back. So, uh, long story short, we're expanding what we give you. We're taking the Patreon seriously, which I say with a laugh because we've just never done that before. But why not? We've got this community that's awesome. We love you. You tolerate us. Uh, we should say, I should say, um, that w- with this announcement that like we're joining, we're joining Washed, becoming part of Washed, nothing is really going to change. One thing's going to change, and this is a big win for listeners. Ads. Guaranteed. Yes. This, this might be the only podcast, I don't listen to enough podcasts to know, this is the only podcast I know about where... The listeners freak for the ads. And when there aren't ads and when they notice, hey, maybe that sponsor isn't so happy with these guys doing their ads, they get invested in it. They want to know. There's still stories about past ads that maybe we'll, we'll one day tell. But we like doing ads. We have fun doing ads. We sure do. Obviously, we make them our own. Mm-hmm. For better or for worse. For better, yeah, right. For better for us, for worse for the companies that are paying us money to do their ads. But I'll tell you, and this, like, we, I loved the the uh, the CLNS guys, which is where we were before. They were the they were the the people that were like, hey, you have a good podcast, you should have ads on them. Let let's get this going, and they did so much for us. Uh, but we, we just did didn't so want little for them. Right, right. <laughs> there was like a sense that we were letting them down. I will say, uh, like, Wash just guy, like, let us down, Dad. <laughs> yes, I will say, CLNS, thank you very much. Like Nick, uh, Nick, Nick guy. and Guy, those those dudes are awesome. I felt like we wore out our welcome at CLNS. Yeah, I bet <laughs> I, I haven't um, talked to Nick at length about this yet, but I've been meaning to discuss that with him. Of like, hey, I, this probably isn't. Uh, a tearjerker of a parting. Like Nick still likes us a lot. Yeah, we we could be a kind of a pain in their ass, though. Oh, a hundred percent. And we we could be because we were. Yes, uh, I, I I let them know that we were. Wash isn't we, going to listen to this. Is I hope right? not. <laughs> Brett's hearing this. <laughs> He's sending to us be his fair, own. we t- we warned them. Absolutely, we were like, you guys are going to hate us. Except with the our acceptance was. Thank you so much. You're going to be so annoyed. <laughs> yep. And it got a laugh. Yep. Got a laugh. But uh yeah, I know it's 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 definitely exciting uh but the the content and like whatever we're doing is going to stay the same but with more of it. Okay, so do you want to discuss the the more, the more of, it? of it? Yes. Okay. We now have and this was painstaking meetings. You're going to find out which one of us was maybe pushing for one thing that as we were coming up with these different tiers and let's say uh, different goals, Mm -hmm. one person maybe, I don't want to speak for anybody, one person maybe spent that entire meeting saying, I'm just going to find my opportunity (laughs) to make this happen. All right. Uh, We have the three tiers now. This is Patreon. Yes, we are. We are beefing up the Patreon. We are going to um, start adding Patreon content, and so we are reshaping the way that our Patreon is structured. Correct. There's going to be the standard tier that we've had: two dollars. We appreciate you. You support the podcast. We love you for it. You know who who you are. You're the best. Awesome. Uh, Five dollars is the Bruntouchable tier, which means you get one bonus video, mini episode, whatever you want to call it, from us every week, and you can help shape them because you also have access to our suggestion box, aka the Buzz Box. And this whole Buzz Box thing, it uh, I know that we 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 should have figured it out as we came up with that. That just sounds like the Boo Box. The boo box? What the hell is the boo box? The boo box. You know what the boo box is? <laughs> no. You doubted me. Who doubted me? You. You d- you doubted me. That's uh, Anthony Hopkins? Who played uh, Hook in Hook? Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Imagine Anthony Hopkins <laughs> as Hook. Anyway, 
I don't uh, think I've seen Hook. You haven't think, seen yeah, Hook? I haven't seen Hook, man. Oh, boy. Well, then this will be... Maybe we'll add this to the goals. Anyway, uh, the, the boo box is where they put you in a box because you doubted Captain Hook, and they fill it with pee. No, they fill it <laughs> with scorpions. Oh. That sucks. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. You don't want to be in the boo box, but you might want to be part of the buzz box, which... Uh, Buzzbox exists in a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, Pete said set up a voice mailbox. Mm -hmm. So if you got a question, if you got a message, if you got whatever, drop it in there. You can also write us comment on Patreon. We used to take more emails, and we had kind of like a a system where it was, hey, we might not necessarily respond to it, but if you want us to, you can put in there. I mean, we used to just take emails like hey, uh, I'm in this tough situation, what should I do? And we'd be like, hey, this probably maybe too personal for the thing or whatever, but like, let's help this, let's at least give our advice. So we would just kind of be pen pals with you. Anyway, we use that however you want. So if you want to say, hey, make a video on this, talk about this, uh, I don't know, like do this as this like I, we already did the like uh, a creed cover as ray romano but like you got some like wacky idea out there like literally anything like yeah. you want us to do uh so that bonus video that we're doing once a week we would love to just kind of like get some suggestions like a prompt yeah as much as we don't like prompt twitter we would love prompts well, in the what? suggestion box. We're Andy from The Office there where he's like, I just don't want drama, but everything he's doing is... Stirring up drama. Drama-driven. Mm-hmm. I think... We, I think we don't like prompt Twitter because we know what it is. We see... We, we know when we see it. We see someone... We see the tweet and we're like, ooh, thirsty much? That's just prompt That's Twitter. True. But I think... I think we kind of do like prompts. We'll do some prompt stuff and be like, isn't this so prompt Twitter? <laughs> Imagine us doing that. Okay, now 45 minutes on this. Go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like if you want to say like, hey, do 10 minutes on this subject or discuss this thing yeah. or eat, like literally anything and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take some of the good ones. But you have to be a $5 Bruntouchable to have access to the voicemail box, to have access to those suggestions and things like that. We could also, now I'm just, we could use those videos to uh, workshop our set for when we do (laughs) the open mic. It's a good idea. If there are any new listeners out there, we have an elaborate plan in which we both show up to an open mic, sign up separately. No one knows that we're together. How could they? One of us goes, we sign up for back-to-back slots. One of us goes up, does five minutes on like a specific movie and you're like okay that's kind of weird they didn't need to do their whole set on uh, th- this movie but whatever next person goes up picks up where they left off <laughs> just does five more minutes you start you start with a vague thing you start so let's say the movie's deep impact pete goes first crushes it gives a five kill, minutes on gives deep a impact. killer five on deep impact they're like okay whatever that okay good job hey, he seems like a nice guy uh he sits down everyone's supportive all right, please welcome to stage DJ Bean. Hey, anybody here engaged? Like, get whatever reaction. <laughs> yeah, my fiance and I were watching Deep Impact the other day, <laughs> and that five more minutes on Deep Impact. It's such a good idea. <laughs> it's such, a good, it's such idea. a good idea. I think I like telling people that idea more than I could possibly like Absolutely. us actually doing it. Yeah. But we're execution guys now. That's right. Okay? So, I don't know, maybe we'll... We'll workshop our material in those videos. Who knows? Uh, we're also going to get more into streaming, but that's kind of like just like a, a freebie. That's just like a, hey, we've got a big community, so we're doing more stuff for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that $5 tier is – that's that's kind of where you're getting a bunch of stuff. And That's w- where we want you to help us, like f- feed us some content. That's like the true community yeah. tier. And then um, the – Ten dollar bottomless Bruntouchable tier is you get all the stuff from the Bruntouchable tier plus video full video episodes and fifteen percent off all brunch merchandise. Yeah, the uh, the video thing is something that we've wanted to do for a long time, and we just didn't really know how to make it happen without it being a gigantic fucking headache. 
But then someone became a Twitch boy and learned how to use all this stuff. Learned how to use a computer. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so we now are putting all of our videos, all of our episodes on video. And that awkward silence that you're hearing right now, if you're listening to it on your phone. Can't wave and talk at the same time. It's us waving to the camera that we're... uh, that we're doing this uh, this little podcast on. So, um, yeah, full video episodes are very, very exciting. I think that's going to be a, a big thing for us. Okay, so those are the tiers. $2, we appreciate you. $5, Brun Touchable. $10, Bottomless Brun Touchable. Now... We also uh, got some goals. Uh, yes. Not the <laughs> goal, guys. I was, okay, <laughs> now I, m- I mentioned somebody was maybe trying to force one idea into all of this. If we reach... 350 patrons we will do a sleepover stream and pete i think i hinted strongly that this was your idea yeah um, so tell the people i have been just fascinated recently by the idea of uh of bringing adult sleepovers back yes and before anybody wants to make the easy joke that like hey like try having sex once or twice no thank you no thanks we're good (laughs) we're talking straight up platonic yes sleepovers between a couple of adults yes and you can dip into sleepovers of yesteryear certain yes. things in a style i mean like what will we well, have that's sleeping bags I, that's, oh yeah that's all i want i want the nostalgic feel of of the youth when i had sleepovers and they were the greatest thing in the world so uh 350 patrons we're going to do a sleepover stream we will do like maybe like 12 hours or something yeah something like that We'll do a 12-hour stream through the night. We'll pull an all-nighter. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to... It's. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be lots of Mountain Dew. Yeah, lots of soda. To, lots of toasti, Tostino's pizza rolls. Totino's pizza rolls, sorry. Uh, cookie dough? If we want to throw in some cookie dough into the mix. You ever? You know what I'm talking about? The, 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 you get the tube. Yeah. Take it down a little bit. Raw. Get a little spoon and, yep. yeah, just Hell spoon yeah. it in there. Uh, yeah, so, like, we'll... Sleeping bags... That won't be slept in. We'll just watch movies and yep. stuff, play some video games, an all night adult sleepover stream. I think would rule. Probably, uh, and th- this this is where it just being the two of us might make it tough. A great part of sleepovers is when, and this this happens now for me at like bachelor parties, where enough of the crowd has dissipated. Whether they've fallen asleep, whether they're off doing something, watching some game. March Madness, whatever it may be, you just bang out a heart to heart. They're just like two of you, and you're just, just the, like the classic like two thirty a.m. heart to heart. Oh, dude, I was man. There was a uh, was at a bachelor party, and it was around the time of March Madness. I, there's all this stuff going on, and it, it it was before I think it was before the 2016 election, and we'd there'd been some politics talk, some like who you got, who you like talk. And it was kind of a theme throughout the night. And then there was like this moment late where it was just me and one of my buddies. We were trying to fall asleep. And it was like, yeah, I, mean, I just don't know, though, about the like the, the world seems like it's getting no, no. so freaking crazy. Right. And I don't know, like we're reaching an age where like, do you want to bring kids into this world? So and like, we just had that, like <laughs> such a real talk. And as I don't know, like as we're discussing doom and gloom, I was like, I love sleepovers. <laughs> <laughs> That's where, the best. Where else are you getting this? Where else are you go? Oh, like oh, uh, oh, th- this this candidate seems crazy. Blah blah. blah. Like hey, but Bernie, I like Bernie and all this stuff. And then you're like, uh, but I'm scared. I'm really scared. That kind of stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. Three hundred fifty of you. <laughs> 350 of you, and then... Uh, 350 vo- of you, and we'll tell you how scared we are of the world at 4 a.m. Yeah. Uh, f- <laughs> that'd be funny. Like, have certain have like a schedule. <laughs> a All right, roughest time is over. Time to be sad. <laughs> um, this is a goal that, uh, let's say it's inspired by Pete's idea. I put a little... Yeah, you can, twist you can, on it. You can throw the uh, like the, the the sleepover thing is your idea, and only yeah. you wanted to push this. Uh, and then like, you immediately turn, turn, turned your own sleepover idea into a, like you spun it into your own idea. Right. So okay, three hundred fifty patrons. 
sleepover stream. Cool. Talking games, giggling, <laughs> heart to hearts. Who knows what else? 550 patrons. Welcome to the Sleep Scambit. We just do another sleepover in which Pete finally watches the Queen's Gambit beginning to end. Yeah. Uh, is that one on stream? Because I don't know how that would work. I have no idea how that would work. I don't think work. that, like that one would, would do work. People. I don't think that would just me staring Set at the Set you up with an iPad and headphones? Maybe I do like a vlog where I, uh, after each episode of the Queen's Gambit, just like I do, we do like a 15 minutes or something. That would be, yeah, vlogging Gambit. Yeah. I, I'm very big into, I don't know why, I think these things are over, but like after shows. You know, like talking dead. I don't think they're 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 over. Talking? Do they do it for Mad Men? Like talking? I think men. they do it like a, they do a Bachelor one like every every three days. Or Everything. Something. It's know. always uh, something roses or flowers mm -hmm. or like tell alls. Right, like stems and Man, something. I'll tell you, we're trying to get deeper into the content game. The Bachelor is way into the content game. Yeah. So. That this is proof that we're still us. We're not going to do that, right? No, definitely not. Right, but that that would be, that would yeah. Just tell everyone that we're bachelor guys. Yeah, that would be good for our clout, but we're not we're not trying to chase clout. That's why we don't do prompt Twitter. So you can check out the Patreon, do those things if if you want, if you're interested. I do think that uh, like a vlog of the Queen's Gambit, where like with each installment, every ten minute installment, just like. Looking more and more tired and more and more miserable as I get through the Queen's Gambit would be very funny. I like so I was going to suggest maybe after every episode. Yeah. But I think your idea of after every ten minutes is No, smart. I meant every ten minutes. Uh like every ten minute installment every after every oh, episode. I was like, that is a dogged approach for, for somebody who does not want to watch the, Pete Gam uh, the, the, uh, the Queen's Gambit. Pete's brand is that he doesn't want to watch the Queen's Gambit. For someone who doesn't want to watch that, if your idea of watching it then included 10 minute every 10 minutes... Have to talk about it. Every 10 minutes, you do a 10-minute reaction. <laughs> and just where, where... I mean, it's so obvious. You're going to love queen's gambit it's the best have you have you read the book yet i got you the book you did give me the book i haven't read it yet I haven't leafed through it no nope. okay so uh should we in case we have any new listeners should we try to give a little yes brunch starter pack yeah let's uh let's do a starter pack uh if you're fr new to the podcast we we are weird podcasts that we uh, find things that we love and we just completely latch onto them and like obsess with them over it. them and that's all we talk about for like six month spans. Yeah. So uh, we figured it'd be instead of you having to go back and find out and get caught up on like what we are and what we love, we'll give you some starter packs. Yeah. Uh, easy ones. I mean, Garrett gave it to you in the full Garrett. The 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 announcement video. You're only getting a little bit of Garrett. So when we say the full Garrett. That's the full, raw, exclusive to brunch. Brad Never Garrett before video. seen. Never Brad Garrett. So he says the podcast loves Mamma Mia, uh, Paddington, and Raymond. Due to the character deficit, we were unable to specify. We really don't love Mamma Mia and Paddington. We love Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, which is the sequel to Mamma Mia. Duh. And Paddington 2, which is the sequel to Mamma Mia. Mm. Yes, <laughs> yes. And hey, we, we love Raymond, but I mean, that that kind of goes without saying. Like, I feel like that's... You would have picked that up on that ubiquitous. eventually. That should be ubiquitous. Everybody loves Raymond. Right. Except that's, for Robert. He's true. All and Deborah. A lot of people on Everybody Loves Raymond don't, don't love, love Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I also have... Uh, it's worth pointing out that um, if you're watching this on video, you might notice... We are both wearing Father John Misty merch right now. Wasn't planned. That's just the synergy that you'll get here. Uh, Father John Misty is a huge part of this podcast. Oh, yeah. Beginning of the podcast, we um, we were confused like everybody else. We were like, what's this guy's deal? Who is this guy? And then we agreed he's definitely very handsome. Yep. So we were like, this is handsome guy. Everyone's always mad at him online. People complain about having to hear his songs. I've never even heard one of his songs. So I don't know. We probably... Had him in the brunch universe for maybe 
six months. The progression there is insane. Yeah. Because you got into him, like, after a while. You're like, I'm going to check this guy out, see what he's all about. I went to a, con- a Father John Misty concert kind of for research to be like, what's a Father John Misty concert like? And the first, like, 10 minutes. I was like, who does this guy think he is? He's just like strutting his stuff. And Danny, I mean, he looks great. This is, yeah, this is a good song. Like, And then by the end of it, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm a Father John Misty guy. And it took me a while. It took me a while to get I was always in on, uh, on the mystique yeah. of Father John Misty. It took me a while to get into the music. I've, now we have gotten to a point where we are both dropping like $150 on Father John Misty merch whenever he puts something out. I mean, he's inspired us during this pandemic to do more of the good stuff because he has amped up his merch game. So I almost grabbed a hat on the way over here, and the hat I reached for was the Father John Misty Dodgers hat. And I was like, that would be absurd. Two Father John Misty items of clothing in one podcast gross and then you open the door yeah, that's that, right <laughs> which is just unbelievable uh i have amc chicken fingers oh yeah amc chicken fingers are a huge part of this podcast as well because uh when the world is normal and open uh we usually go to see at least one movie in theaters every week usually on like a friday we'll see a new movie and then you'll hear about it you'll hear about the movie and the chicken fingers that we ate uh, yes. the following week so get get ready for that once the world reopens we were huge movie pass guys yeah. we jumped on movie pass as soon as it or as soon as they made that crazy investment and then changed their pricing model and we that just really made us more of a movie podcast so we love talking about movies we typically have at least one movie to talk about maybe every episode but it, at the very least every other episode mm-hmm. or we're all the way in on a series we recently were mini series guys yeah big mini series guys so recently so we did um the uh, the undoing like everybody else but we were big into a teacher we were big into your honor which your honor we loved because it was the height of entertainment while also definitely not being good yes we like michael stuhlbarg a lot huge big stoolies <laughs> <Have> we, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> We should we absolutely no. We should absolutely make stoolies a thing. I'm a stoolie. Re-branding. Oh, does that mean that you support this thing? The blah blah six years ago, where I don't know. Like... No. Look, he may. Look, wait. You have an issue with Stuhlbarg's work in a serious man? Because I think I think it holds up. Quite frankly, <laughs> we should find a way to like to take. Like, Is there the, like a the bumper the sticker we could put on a car that you know, there's like the barstool bumper sticker that yeah, uh, that is yeah on a lot the of barstool cars. logo with like this the, like all the stars around the the yeah. stool. We should do a bunch. Of, we should do a thing with like a bunch of stars around Michael Stuhlbark's Stuhlbark. head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just st- Stuhlbark. Viva la stool. <laughs> oh, love Be love incredible. Stuhlbark. Uh, they, so this takes us to the next part of our starter pack. Randy Havens yeah. from Stranger Things, from Logan Lucky. He's been in a bunch of stuff. Great actor. He was a guest on an episode and then just became, became our best friend. Like very good friends with us. We hang out with him. We take trips to see him. Went to Taylor Swift with him. It was the best. Uh, he's, he's part of our world. Uh, Lena Waith was... Uh, I say was. We, we were so heartbroken about our Lena Waithe relationship. Uh, she was a recurring guest, and she still is. I mean, if, if we said, right. hey, come on the podcast, she would. But she has become she, a, such a big star yeah. that we feel, like whenever we text her about something, we feel like the like kind of like we were with CLNS where like we are just imposing. <laughs> right. You have better things to do, and you are trying to like right. carve out just an incredible career and we're like hey want to come on and talk about i think there's no more indi- right i think there's no more in demand person right now than lena waith she right. obviously does everything is in everything does the at&t voiceovers does uh, makes these great movies makes the shy um so we'll, we'll still touch base with her from time to time but uh we, we also have uh, our friend named jeff yes who you should absolutely know uh, Jeff is a very integral part of the podcast. He's a, a frequent guest. You'll get to know him, but all you just need to know is the word Jeff. 
Yes. It's a big part of the podcast. Jeff is big. Sometimes you're going to hear references. So, for example, earlier I said, I was talking to someone that said, hey, the podcast's been really good. You don't even do Mad Libs anymore. That was Jeff. There you go. Jeff had that suggestion. Jeff's, we, we make some merch that's just exclusive to Jeff. It has nothing to do with us. It's just a shirt that says Jeff on it. Sometimes I'll wear it around. People will say, hey, what does that shirt mean? And I'll say, oh, this is my buddy Jeff. Feels really good. <laughs> Bruntouchables. Oh, so Bruntouchables are uh, brunch fans. Yep. They're like stoolies. S-T-U-H-L-I-E-S. They're like stoolies, but for brunch. Uh, Bruntouchables worship Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Jeff episodes are called Jeff episodes. Right. So if you're confused, we do an episode and you don't know if it's a Jeff episode, read the title of it. It'll say Jeff episode. That's right. So Jeff's a big part of uh, of the, the old uh, podcast. Another part of the brunch starter pack is depression. Depression. is depression. a big, big part of the brunch starter pack. This podcast has been running for a long time, and it was before depression was cool. And I don't say <laughs> cool. so fucked up. No, like, not, not, it, not cool. In like, vogue. It, People are obviously more. It, it's there. There are way fewer stig. There's way right, yeah, it's yeah. A lesser a stigma with depression than mm-hmm. there was back in the days. But back in the day, but um, I'd bring it up from time to time. Pete was a happy guy. I I'm a functioning person. And everything, but like just depression is uh, part of my life. Uh, it, it, Pete eventually caught up to me, <laughs> and happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, not not happy to be here. Sometimes not completely my fault, but at I, least eighty five percent my fault. Yeah, I think something. If you're jumping on board, you jam now, with you someone will, long enough, you're gonna start you're playing right. their licks. <laughs> it, you will start picking up if you're hopping on board. You will start picking up on the fact that we rub off on each other in 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 ways that that some of us enjoy, and in other ways that we don't enjoy. I am mostly think it's a I'm good not, thing. I don't want to blame you yeah. for giving me depression. Nah, I like you. What 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 better way to to see to, yourself in me? <laughs> yeah. It's good to I don't know. Sometimes it's good. I'll see you kind of I don't know, maybe not have the energy you used to have or something. You're just like you're just like I'm just like hey, Pete's off today. It's good to know that I can make a difference. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh that's I think that's a that but but does a lot of but we're the bases. we're yeah we're real about that yeah that stuff we don't I mean don't we we bring it up as it comes up I think it's a healthy normal thing to yeah to bring that sort of uh, stuff up and uh, again I, I keep saying we're untouchables like our community kind of gets that we're all real about stuff so no there's no uh, there's no BS other than. I don't know. Sometimes we'll say that we didn't hate a piece of pop culture because we don't want to be super mean. That's become a thing. We've grown a bit of uh, compassion and consideration. We recently did an episode where we agreed Rami Malek was so terrible in that Denzel Washington movie. But we were like, how did we, how would it feel to listen to to two guys just be like, ah? I hate to say it, but Rami Malek stinks. So then we didn't know. We were like, should we be meaner? So at least we can be written off as assholes. So we we generally have positive, encouraging vibes. But it's coming from, a, I don't know, just an absolutely miserable, devastated place. So it's, true. it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that could, that's everything covered on my, on my end. Yeah, I think so. What What, what, what else could we have not hit i mean you're just gonna find that there's certain people and characters that will always pique our interest octavia spencer just supporting the hell out of everything she's in the greatest supporting actress of our time so much so that maybe it's unfair if you make a movie and be like oh we do literally anything but octavia spencer is the second lead it's like yo cheat code not fair. Uh, you'll also find that we're very hot and cold on Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, we that's... We can be very hot and cold on Taylor Swift. It's tough. We went from saying that she should take uh, eight years off, mm-hmm. two Olympic cycles, yes. for those keeping track at home, 
uh, and just not do anything. And then she totally ignored that, put out like three albums in a year, and I loved all of them. So, yeah, I go. I mean, I, I, I love Taylor Swift's. I love Taylor Swift, but I'm forever terrified. I so I I've, I'm a very neurotic person. Uh, certain things just freak me out, and maybe they shouldn't. Huge, crazy fan bases freak me out. And the whole Swifty experience sort of terrifies me. So, when Taylor Swift stuff comes out, and I, you can go listen to a past Taylor Swift episode if you need examples of this, I just get overwhelmed by the, oh my, is, isn't every one of these songs the best? And I'm like, some are better than others. Like, no! <laughs> so... But we love, I mean, we love Taylor Swift concerts, did those, got those uh, field passes when we went to the Atlanta show with Randy. So anyway, there's a lot of stuff that we do. There's a lot of stuff that we love. Uh, Pete's a big uh, deadhead, as he discussed on the last episode. So if you're new, join us. Welcome. We're happy to have you. Dip your toes in the water. You'll find the experience, whether on Twitter or whatever. The Bruntouchables, very nice, very friendly, very yeah, supportive. Yeah, so I was just going to say, if you if you don't understand something yeah. and like you're jumping in and you are like, what's this? I don't get it. You can ask. Yeah. And either one of us will maybe explain it to you or one of the other Bruntouchables will explain it to you or we'll just make fun of you. So just have a spin of the wheel and see what happens. That's true. Uh, I was going to say, we could say, we could do the uh, very dumb podcast thing of if you want to hit us up you can hit me up i'm pete blackburn on twitter no, that's I mean, dj if underscore fi- if finding this you know where you we can are. find us also we don't say who we are when we no. do the podcast so, episode so good luck finding out so have fun trying to figure although that out. If, now that the, now that we're on video that might might ruin that bit a little bit i don't think so oh that it doesn't say our name using somebody else's picture as my twitter avatar for like 10 years is exactly something i would do that's true so if they pull they pull it up they see that my profile picture is just me is one of us is somebody in this video they'd be like well that does mean nothing this fucking guy sucks it's true mine's also a cartoon so ah we're gonna do uh we got a lot of cartoon Gar- a lot of talk. cartoon talk so this is uh this is technically not our episode for this week this is just sort of like an introduction and an announcement that we're going to wash we yeah. have a full episode that is also out so uh if you liked if you knew and you liked what you heard here yeah come on over we've got a new episode this week as well hell yeah and if you join the patreon we got a video off of that but that can be described in the other episode we have coming out now we have a whole paper trail of content uh-oh <laughs>